So it's now I'm saying I've been performing for over 35 years because I started when I was about 10. I remember my first, I think it was my first show, public show. Um, might not have been my first, but was in for a Cub Scout troop in the basement of Christ the King School. You know what? It's something that's kind of like a calling, maybe. And, you know, when you're young and you just do it. It's something that I've done so long that I don't think about it. And I've done it part time my whole life. And, uh, you know, always doing shows, you know, on the weekends, not really thinking. Early on, I never thought about doing it full time. Like, I didn't think when I was young, you know, when I was doing shows, when I was eight or 10 or 12 or whatever, I, I, at that time I didn't really think, yep, I'm going to be a magician and I'm going to be, you know, at that time, the next Doug Henning. Now this to you might look like just a piece of paper. And it is just a piece of paper. And could it be, what do those colors remind you of? Christmas. Christmas, that's what it reminds me of, Christmas. So this could be a holiday napkin. Yeah. And we turned it into a napkin. You used your imagination and you were able to create something. Just like I did right here with my imagination. It kind of looks like a rose. That's right. And if you use your imagination, you might find that oh, this smells just like a napkin. <laughs> it really does. And then and then what, what happens? Then you get the magic kit at home. And at that time, there was only a few available, you know. How many balloons do I have in my hand now? Two. Two is absolutely right. I need you to hold on to those for me. Okay, perfect. <laughs> I need you to do. Hey, My uncle showed me a uh, magic trick at Christmas. And my uncle Jack did. My uncle Jack Joyce did. And then... Uh, um, actually, I still remember the tricks, and they're still good tricks that that um, that I st still use today. Just to think, magicians. I mean, influences go, you know, different influences. But I'd have to say probably Penn and Teller are guys that I like. Yeah, we're gonna turn this into the magic yellow hat. Very good. You're good at colors. Tomorrow, numbers. Here we go, Eva. Stand perfectly still. Okay, we got Eva. I know you're doing wait, wait. You take it off. I'm trying to just put it on and you're taking it off. Well, you know, a lot of people come up to me and they say, you know, everybody loves magic. We all, you know, just, like, and I guess they like good magic. Um, write it, you can rewrite it, you can rehearse it, you can rehearse it in front of a camera, you can watch it back, but until you get that, until you get that um, audience and that, that dynamic between, um, you know, it, you never know where it's going to go.